Ross sitting in this morning. For Gary, we got Rock Teasy for Sheezy. My knees are doing sports and the tea. Rock, I don't know about that one. Hey, man, uh, not half man, half woman, but uh, we're going to make this thing work. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You better let him know. All right. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's talk about uh, after marrying his wife, Bill Gates, would spend a long weekend every year at a cozy beach cottage in North Carolina with his old girlfriend. Do I need to repeat that? After marrying his wife, Bill Gates would spend a long weekend every year at a cozy beach cottage in North Carolina with his old girlfriend. Now, did the wife know about this? All right. Well, keep on listening. The billionaire founder of Microsoft made sure the bizarre arrangement was part of the deal when he married his wife, Melinda French, in 1994. So to answer your question, Rick, yes, she knew about this. Now, would you do this? Would you approve this? When I approve it? Yes. Like, would you go along with it? When I do it and when I approve it, it's two different things. <laughs> Which one you want to know? When you got $80 when I, when I do it, hell yeah. <laughs> when I approve it, I it? kill him. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know man. what? Go ahead, uh, Eva. I, I'm not even mad at the arrangement. And the, and the operative word is arrangement. When mm. you're in a relationship and if this is something that you want to do and you arrange it and your wife is okay with it, I, as a bystander that's not even in the relationship, I don't have a problem with it at all. Man, if you, if my wife, Crystal, if I brought that doggone situation to her. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> yeah. but you don't even know what happened. When you worth 80 billion bucks, man. He wasn't worth eighty billion in ninety. Yes, he was. He he was worth a lot, though. (laughs) He was worth a lot. That's a a good billion. Anything. (laughs) The rules are different in that league. (laughs) One billion. That's a. (laughs) (laughs) So she playing by our rules. Yeah. How how would that go? How about that fly in y'all house, uh, Eva and Special K? Brett. Uh, 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 Definitely not. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm too territorial. Yeah, that ain't gonna the, work for me. Yeah, we don't like to share it like that. Like All right, so, uh, so let me get a little bit more into the story because allegedly they wasn't having any sexual encounters. They were just very good friends, and they were just right. hanging out with each other. Well, why the wife can't come and be good friends? Now, that's they what I was friends. about to say. Come on, Rick. That's what I was about to say. Now, if you're gonna do that, then the wife need to come and enjoy the vacation and be friends, and let them be be good friends. And we all could be happy. Well, maybe maybe Melinda wasn't into the all geeky, nerdy stuff because the ex-wife was like Bill Gates. They was real nerdy, geeky, computer stuff. Right. To, oh, that and the ass. other one jump up on the, on the table and twerk at True Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> True totally, Kitchen. totally different. Man, that's still weird, man. <laughs> that's still weird. So if y'all don't know, man, Bill Gates announced on Monday that he was divorcing his wife after 27 years of marriage. They revealed that he and his ex-girlfriend started taking an annual trip when they began dating in 1984 after meeting at a computer conference. So, so you, you know, think they, he going to get with the ex-girlfriend now? Hey, man, they he been with her once a year, so I don't, it ain't never so, stopped. So now y'all finna have side chicks out here just waiting it out. <laughs> waiting it out, sitting on, sitting on the bench like Kobe had to sit on the bench. LeBron had to sit on the bench. They didn't start when they get to the, got to the NBA. Right. Sometimes you got to sit on the bench, man, and, and go to practice every day. You got to practice with the one-week vacation for Preparation meets opportunity. Man. So, so I hope somebody's inspired by that. In the words of Allen Iverson, practice. <laughs> practice? <laughs> All y'all side <laughs> chicks out there, hold on. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. <laughs> See, you can't be getting mad going in. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. All right, Rock, what's our Kahlua for the day? <laughs> oh, man. The Kahlua for the day is black. On the high end, you say black. On the low end, you say dog on it. Quicksand. I don't know. I ain't used to this color. Yeah, 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 you have to be. <laughs> right, right. That, quicksand that, 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 is dark, right? <laughs> no, not quite. Man. Good one, man. We'll let you make it. Like no, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you make it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. It did the best it could, or whatever. As long as you ain't wearing no tight, no, no tight biking shorts like Gary. Right. So you did, you did good. You did the man tee. Yes, sir. Dudes in the trailer, yeah, yeah, I like that color. Yeah, yeah it's black. Yeah, it's black gold. quicksand. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all, 10 minutes after the hour. Y'all give it up for Rock Teasy. Come on.